In today's video, I'm going to do a couple of swiped paintings and then I have some ideas for how I want to embellish them and use the swipe as a background. So I'm working on a small six by six inch canvas and an eight inch wood circle. And I just have my base paint that I'm putting down and I'm using my sponge brush to just get a really nice smooth uh, base layer. I have all of my paints mixed with water and Floetrol and then in my small cup of white that I'm going to use for swiping, I also have just one drop of silicone oil to help create cells. Um, I normally don't use silicone a lot because you do have to clean up your canvas before you finish it, but for this I did want to get some really nice cells and I know that's a really good way to do it. I'm using uh, turquoise, magenta, orange, and yellow for my colors that I'm going to swipe. So for each one, um, and for my swiping tool, I'm just using a damp paper towel. I really like using the damp paper towel. It works well for me in getting some really nice cells. So I'm just going to put my colors down in different areas on each of my surfaces. I don't want um, the same color scheme on both. I don't want them to look exactly the same. So we'll just put these colors down and then swipe. I do like these colors. I've used these colors a lot with each other and it's just a really nice color palette. Um, I don't really have any issues with the colors getting too muddy at all. Actually my orange into blue there might get it might get a little muddy, but it, it won't look too bad. We don't have too much paint down. So I'm just taking my damp paper towel. I put my white down that has the silicone oil in it. And we're just gonna swipe. And that is awesome. It is so colorful. And I'm getting a lot of nice cells. And I'm gonna go grab my torch. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute while I swipe my circle, and then I may tilt a little bit just to get some of that white off, but overall I got a lot of really nice cells on that one. So this one, since I don't have a lot of space on where I could put my white down, I'm going to pour my white on my surface and just dip my paper towel in it, and then swipe across my wood circle here. Just going to swipe. Oh wow. Okay, so I'm going to swipe a little bit more. There we go. That, those are going to be very colorful. So this one I'm going to tilt just a little bit. get some of that extra white off and pull out some of those cells. Okay, so we'll let that dry and then I'm gonna tilt this one just a little bit. So I'm going to let these dry for a few days and then we'll come back and add our embellishments to them. So I've let my painting dry for about a day and now I'm going to add an embellishment. I just took a piece of paper and cut out a butterfly silhouette so that I'd have a stencil to work off of. I had originally tried drawing the butterfly with a pencil, but it wasn't showing up dark enough. So I'm just using some black acrylic paint. It is fluid acrylic paint, so it's a really nice thin consistency to draw out my butterfly. I have a variety of paint brushes that I'm going to be using to fill it in. And then I have a little bit of white fluid acrylic paint that I'm also going to use for an embellishment. I didn't really follow any specific picture, but I did look at a couple of pictures on my phone to get an idea of a pattern of a butterfly. And I just used some different ideas to fill in some areas with that black and then also leave the um, underpainting for areas of the wings.
and I just continued to use my fluid acrylic paint along with some of my thin detail brushes to add in areas and and leave areas of the canvas bare where I wanted those colors to show through. I also decided to just finish the edges with black. And then I shaded in um, some edges on the canvas just for a little bit of contrast between the colors. I then used the white acrylic paint to add a few small embellishments to the wings to finish off this piece. <music> 